In this example, it looks like we have ourselves a matrix equation where on the left side we have some matrix multiplication and on the right side we have our product matrix. Now, this problem in particular uh, seems to be tricky for some students, so if you haven't already tried it or looked at it, I'd, I encourage you to pause the video and, and try this out for yourself first, and then uh, we'll walk through it together. Okay, so in order to make sure that you can even do this matrix multiplication, we need to ensure that the dimensions work out correctly. So this first one is a two by three, two rows with three columns. And the second one is three rows with two columns. And as long as these middle dimensions are equal to each other, remember the number of columns here with the number of rows here, we can indeed do this matrix multiplication. It will be defined. And the dimensions of the product matrix, two rows with two columns. So this will be a two by two, which you'll notice, yes, the product matrix is a two by two. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our matrix multiplication algorithm here, and we'll put this product matrix down where it goes, and we'll see where these values come from, and let's write some equations. So the first one here, let's go ahead and write or rewrite our 1, 3, and our y minus 2 with our y minus 1, 4, and 2. And then over here, we'll rewrite this critter. So we have our x minus 4, our 3, and our 5 with our x plus 1, 4, and 2. And I'll grab a different color so we can write our product matrix right here. And this guy was our 2 by 2. Okay, so here's our uh, matrix multiplication algorithm, our process here. So this xy, okay, so this is the first entry. And this entry is found by coming across this row and down this column, multiplying consecutive terms, and then adding all those products. So we can then go ahead and write some equations. So it's going to be x minus 4, which is the first entry here, times 1. So that's just x minus 4. And then 3 times 3 is 9. And then 5 times y minus 2, and of course we're adding all of these uh, consecutive products, and that's going to equal xy. Okay, so I can kind of clean this up to begin. Let's go ahead and distribute, so x minus 4 plus 9 plus 5y minus 10 equals xy. And this might be a little goofy because you don't often see in these basic systems of equations the multiplication here of the xy. But uh, negative 4 plus 9 is 5. 5 minus 10 is negative 5. So it looks like we have x plus 5y minus 5 equals xy. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and underline that guy. He's, uh, he seems important. Okay, so let's look at this 28 then here. We're going to come across this row and down this column. So when I do that, the first entry with this first entry... That looks like it'll be an x minus 4 times a y minus 1, and then 3 times 4 is 12, and 5 times 2 is 10, and that's going to equal that entry of 28. So if we go ahead and do this binomial multiplication, I'll end up with xy minus x minus 4y plus 4, plus 22 equals 28. That 22, of course, came from right there, the 12 and the 10. So simplifying this a little, xy minus x minus 4y equals, and 4 plus 22 is 26. It's positive on the left side, so I'll move it over to the right as a negative 26, and I'll get a 2. Okay, well, that guy seems like an important equation also. And you'll notice... Uh, that both of these equations have an xy term in there, which uh, probably is going to come in handy for us. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this 28. So we're going to come across this row and down this column. So x plus 1 times 1 is going to be x plus 1. And then we have 4 times 3 is 12. And then 2 times y minus 2. And that equals the 28 entry right there. So it looks like when I distribute, I'll have x plus 13 plus 2y minus 4 equals 28. Of course,
course, we can put those together. So x plus 2y equals, and 13 minus 4 is 9. When I move it over, it'll be a negative 9. So that 28 minus 9 is 19. Okay, so a third important equation. And let's just go ahead and figure out what this last one's going to be as well. So coming across this row and down this column. So x plus 1 times y minus 1. We'll put that right down there. And then 4 times 4 is 16. And 2 times 2 is 4. And that equals 56. All right. So doing this binomial uh, multiplication, we'll be left with xy minus x plus y minus 1 plus 20 equals 56. And again, that 20 was just from the 16 and the 4. Okay, xy minus x plus y. So negative 1 plus 20 is 19, and this will be a minus 19, so it looks like equals 37. Okay, so four equations, but only two unknown values, just x and y. But you'll notice, if you will, three of these equations uh, contain an xy term, and in fact, all of them just contain a single xy, so just one xy. So what it looks like I could do, since in this equation the xy is uh, already isolated on one side by itself, I could say xy equals, and then it looks like the xy, I could substitute in for that this x plus 5y minus 5 expression. Okay, and I could do that anywhere. You could do it here or here or both of them or just whatever you feel like doing. So let's go ahead and do it right here. So we have this xy here, and I would like to substitute in this x plus 5y minus 5 for this xy, and then minus x minus 4y equals 2. That's just the rest of that. Let's go ahead and simplify this a bit. x minus x. Oh, okay, those cancel. So 5y minus 4y is y, and if I add 5 to both sides y equals 7. That actually came out very smoothly. Okay, so if y is 7 then, kind of plug this wherever you want to plug it. In fact, we can plug it right here if you want. That looks pretty easy. So x plus 2y, y is 7, that equals 19. So x plus 14 equals 19. If I just subtract 14 from both sides, it looks like x equals 5. So if you're looking for an ordered pair, or if you're just looking to put the values here, x is 5, y is 7, and that ultimately will satisfy this equation, where on the left side we have this matrix multiplication, on the right side we had our product matrix, and we worked through to, first of all, ensure that the dimensions worked, and the dimensions did work, so we set up our matrix multiplication. We wrote some of our equations here. Notice that, uh, if you will, we didn't even need this last equation. We just went ahead and substituted into here and then used this guy. And then our values here, x was 5 and y was 7.